Hi guys. What do we have today? Here we have predictions for today's 13 NBA games. Let's get started. Toronto Raptors and Charlotte Hornets. The Raptors have won six of their previous nine games and are in fine shape. The Hornets have been in good form, having won four of their past six games. The Raptors are struggling on the road. This season, they have won 12 of their 36 road games while covering the spread 14 times. Recently, the Raptors have won one only in the last six road games while covering the spread twice. The Hornets are playing awfully at home. Throughout the season, they only won 13 of their 38 home games. They have lost seven of their last nine home games while only covering the spread three times. Head to head, the Raptors covered the spread once only in the last five games against the Hornets in Charlotte. While the Raptors view this game as extremely important, the Hornets will play one more game without their starting lineup. Play Toronto Raptors minus 13. Utah Jazz and Brooklyn Nets. The Jays have been in a slump, losing five of their last six games. The Nets have been in a rut, having dropped six of their past nine games, but they will be looking for their third consecutive win today. This season, the Jays played poorly on the road. In their 39 road games, they have only won 14 of them. Recently, they have won three of their last six away games while covering the spread in five. This season, the Nets played well on their home court. They've won 21 of their last 37 games at home. Recently, the Nets have won and covered the spread three times in their previous seven home games. Head to head, the Jazz won and covered the spread twice in the last five games against the Nets in Brooklyn. I think the Jazz gave up trying to get into the play-in round, however, this game is crucial for the Nets to retain their sixth place standing in the Eastern Conference. Play Brooklyn Nets minus eight. Memphis Grizzlies and Chicago Bulls. The Grizzlies are on a roll, having won 11 of their past 12 games. The Bulls have won six of their previous nine games and are in good form. The Grizzlies are struggling on the road. They won 15 of their 37 road games this season despite covered the spread in only 13 of them. The Grizzlies have recently won four of their last eight away games while covering four times. The Bulls played pretty decently on their home floor. This season, they have won 20 of their 38 home games. The Bulls have recently struggled on their home court. In their previous 10 home games, they have only won and covered the spread four times. Head to head, the Grizzlies covered the spread in two of the last five games against the Bulls in Chicago. The Bulls have already qualified for the play-in tournament, but I'm sure they will strive to win here because it is their home ground. This matchup has little significance for the Grizzlies. Play Chicago Bulls plus three. Portland Trail Blazers and Minnesota Timberwolves. The Trail Blazers have recently been one of the league's weakest teams, having dropped 11 of their past 12 games, and they will be looking to snap a five-game losing streak here. The Timberwolves have been in a slump, having dropped five of their past nine games, and they will be aiming to stop a two-game losing streak tonight. The Trail Blazers have not been a great road team since the start of the season. In their previous 37 road games, they had won 15 of them. Recently, they have won three times while covering the spread in four of their last seven road games. Head to head, the Trail Blazers didn't cover the spread in any of the last six games, which they have played against the Timberwolves in Minnesota. The Trail Blazers have seven of their eight rotation players injured. The Timberwolves face a crucial matchup. Play Minnesota Timberwolves minus 16. Dallas Mavericks and Atlanta Hawks. The Mavericks are on a back-to-back, -back, including travel. They are in terrible shape, having lost six of their past seven games. The Hawks are in decent form, having split their past eight games. This season, the Mavericks have struggled on the road. Just 15 of their 40 away games were victories. They've covered a spread in six of their last nine road games but have only won three of those nine. All season long, the Hawks were a solid home team. They won 22 of their 38 home games. Recently, the Hawks have won four of their last five home games, but just three have covered the spread. Head to head, the Mavericks covered the spread once only in the last five matches against the Hawks in Atlanta. The Mavericks played their second game in a row, and they looked awful against the Heat last night. The Hawks are good at home, and they are healthy. Play Atlanta Hawks minus three. Washington Wizards and New York Knicks. The Wizards have been in a slump, losing six of their last eight games. The Knicks are in good form, having won six of their previous nine games, and they will be looking for their fourth straight victory today. 
the Wizards play decently in road games. This season they have won 16 of their 39 road games. Recently, they've won and covered the spread four times in their last nine road games. The Knicks have played fine on their home floor this season. They have won 22 of their 39 home games. The Knicks have lately won and covered the spread in eight of their last 10 home games. Head to head, the Wizards covered the spread in 13 in the last 17 games against the Knicks in New York. This season is already finished for the Wizards. Four of their starting lineups five players are sidelined with injuries. The Knicks are in excellent form, and I believe they will prove it today with a win. Plain New York Knicks minus 9. Detroit Pistons and Orlando Magic. The Pistons have been one of the league's poorest teams, having dropped 19 of their past 20 games, and they will be looking to snap an 8-game losing run tonight. The Magic have won 4 of their previous 5 games and are on a roll. The Pistons are one of the league's weakest road teams. They won only 7 of their 38 road games this season. They've recently lost 12 consecutive road games, covering the spread in only 5 of those 12. This season, the Magic's home record has been not so good. They have split their last 38 home games. Recently, they have won 5 of their previous 9 home games while failing to cover the spread in 5 of them. Head to head, the Pistons won twice while covering the spread 3 times against the Magic in Orlando. The season is nearing a conclusion for both teams, and this game has no competitive spirit. Play Detroit Pistons plus 9. San Antonio Spurs and Sacramento Kings. The Spurs have dropped 8 of their previous 9 games and will be looking to snap a 6-game losing streak today. The Kings have been in great form, winning 4 of their past 5 games, and they will be looking for their third consecutive victory tonight. This season, the Spurs are the league's worst road team. They've won 6 of their past 38 away games. In recent games, the Spurs have been considerably worse. They've lost 24 of their previous 25 road games and covered the spread only 6 times. This season the Kings were a pretty well home team. They have won 23 of their last 39 home games. Recently, they won 6 of their previous 10 home games, but only 4 of those 10 covered the spread. Head to head, the Spurs covered the spread once only in the last six games against the Kings in Sacramento. This match does not change anything for either of these two teams. Play San Antonio Spurs and Sacramento Kings over 243. Los Angeles Lakers and Houston Rockets. The Lakers have won five of their past six games and will look for a third consecutive victory today. The Rockets are in poor shape since they were on a seven-game losing slide until breaking it against the Pistons. The Lakers play decently on the road this season since they won 18 of their 38 road games. Their road performance has lately improved. The Lakers won and covered the spread in six of the last nine road games. The Rockets are one of the league's worst at home. They won only 13 of their 39 home games this season. Recently, they won and covered the spread in their past nine home games. Head to head, the Lakers covered the spread in five of the last seven games against the Rockets in Houston. The Rockets have been playing great recently, and I wouldn't be surprised if they win here. For the Lakers, this is a must-win situation. Play Houston Rockets plus 11. Phoenix Suns and Oklahoma City Thunder. The Suns have been in good form, winning five of their past eight games, and they will be hungry to extend their four-game winning run here. The Thunder have been in a slump, losing four of their last six games. This season, the Suns haven't played well on the road. They have only won 16 of their 39 road games. The Suns have recently played better away from home. They have won and covered the spread in four of their previous eight away games. This season the Thunder have had a solid home record since they won 23 of their 39 home games. Recently, the Thunder played decently on their home floor. They had won seven times while covering the spread six times in their last 12 home games. Head to head, the Suns covered the spread in only one game of their last six games against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. This is a crucial game for both sides, and I expect it to be decided by a single score. Play Oklahoma City Thunder plus 5. Indiana Pacers and Cleveland Cavaliers. The Pacers have been in a rut, losing six of their last eight games. The Cavaliers have been in pretty decent form, winning six of their previous nine games but they will be trying to end a two-game losing streak tonight. The Pacers have struggled on the road this season. This season, they have only won 14 of their 39 away games. They have recently played significantly better in road games, 
having won and covered the spread in six of their previous 11 games. The Cavaliers have been playing great ball at home this season. They won 30 of their 39 home games. The Cavs have won seven of their last 10 home games but have only covered the spread five times. Head to head, the Pacers covered the spread once only in the last eight games against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. The Pacers season is about to end after three more games. The Cavaliers secured the fourth position in the Eastern Conference. I expect a friendly game with minimal defense. Play Indiana Pacers and Cleveland Cavaliers over 230. Philadelphia 76ers and Milwaukee Bucks. The Sixers have been in a slump, having dropped four of their past seven games, but they will be looking for their third consecutive victory today. The Bucks have been in fine form since they have won five of their past seven games. The Sixers are one of the league's finest road teams. They won 23 of their 38 away games this season. They have recently performed admirably on the road since they've won and covered the spread in seven of their last ten. Since the beginning of the season, the Bucks have been one of the league's top home teams. They won 30 of their 38 home games. They've won four of their previous seven home games, but have only covered the spread twice. Head to head, the Sixers covered the spread in only three of the last ten games against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Both teams are fully healthy. The Bucks performed well at home until the final match against the Celtics. This game is a must win for them to keep the top spot in the Eastern Conference. Play Milwaukee Bucks minus 5. Golden State Warriors and Denver Nuggets. The Warriors have been on a roll lately, winning 5 of their last 6 games, and they'll be looking for their third straight victory today. The Nuggets have been in decent form, winning 4 of their past 7 games, and they will be looking to avoid a third consecutive loss tonight. The Warriors have been one of the worst road teams in the league. This season, they have only won 9 of their 38 road games. The Warriors have now lost 11 of the last 13 road games, covering the spread once only. The Nuggets have dominated at their home floor since the start of the season, winning 31 of their 38 home games. Six of the Nuggets' previous nine home games had ended in wins, with five of those nine covering the spread. Head-to-head, -head, the Warriors won and covered the spread three times in the last five games against the Nuggets and Denver. I can guess the Joker won't play in this game either given that the Nuggets are only down by two points. Without him, the Nuggets have little chance of beating the Warriors. Keep an eye on the Nuggets injury report. Play Golden State Warriors plus two. Guys, that's all. Thanks for joining us today. See you tomorrow.